everybody, this is Matt Fish, owner and founder of Melt Bar and Grilled. We're sitting here in our beautiful Avon location. This is one of our newer stores in the Melt Company, the Melt Group, the Melt Family, as we like to call it. My good friend Bear owns a company called Raw Sugar Art Studios, and they've been producing rock and roll posters um, of bands that have come through the region, not only Ohio, but the region, since 1967. So tell us the story, because I am not going to do it justice. 1967, you're going to start making posters. The buddies that uh, weren't uh, doing security for the concerts were out in the parking lots while we're inside working the shows. They're out there selling the stuff, and we realized, you know, we can make more money doing this than we could. Bouncing. Real jobs. Yeah. Um, but it just, uh, it kind of grew, and we never ever realized that what we were doing then, we'd still be doing now. 2019. Yeah, you. how did you know that selling these posters out of your trunk and making a couple bucks at a show was going to turn into you creating, I mean, I mean, you probably don't even know how many posters, or maybe you do, you no. have actually created. Because I can look on your website and I have purchased and gotten from you literally hundreds, and hundreds in the high hundreds, like probably going on in the thousands that we've gotten. Yeah, we're figuring, I mean, we figure over the years, and we try to do a list. Uh, and it was about 6,000. Holy cow. So you're still producing, even today, you guys are still relevant, you're still producing posters for bands, for concert promoters, for venues, yeah. and they all contact you in different ways. I mean, like this past year, uh, the Zombies, mm -hmm. you know, they're, you know, and congratulations to the Zombies getting the Rock Hall. Uh, but uh, no, they, um, they reached out because they saw something we did. And so they were like, hey, we want you to do the UK tour and our West Coast tour. And then we did special posters for uh, their show at the Fillmore and the Troubadour. Oh, wow, that's you awesome. Know, two, you know, iconic venues. And we're still producing new stuff. That's and awesome. the old stuff that you see on the walls here, I mean, people gravitate to it. They right. love it. And I think the cool part about you as an individual, but also the, the brains behind this company, is that it's all you. You're the artist, you're designing these posters, you're the contact person that these bands and promoters are calling up and saying, hey Bear, we want you to make these posters. Then you go create the poster yourself with your, with your talent. What are some, some posters that, over the years that stand out? Maybe not because of the design, but maybe the time and place, or there was something that just set it apart. Like, what, what are some of your top three or five? Um, the Zeppelin, I mean, just because it was such iconic shows um, at the Coliseum. What, I, I've got two posters that are actually, the only two that hang up in my office. One is uh, Sinatra. The, the 70 show? From the 70 the opening up of the Coliseum. Yeah, that's a great one. Um, got that with, uh, you know, my ticket. The medallion got that night, but it was great to do the poster. Oh, for sure. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> I've got uh, an original cream poster we did. There's a poster we did in um, 74 for Steely Dan that it was, did, we didn't know at the time, but it was their last tour until they oh. reunite. And uh, that poster, Bowie's first show, we just happened to do that one. Yeah. The first show ever in the U.S. Cause Belkins brought him here. Yeah, that was uh, what seventy two two at at the music at music hall. You, yeah, yeah. I think that poster's floating around and in here then, someplace. And uh, then he came back a couple months later. Yeah. So those kind of sh the posters that have a lot of meaning, like I said, the opening of the Coliseum with Sinatra, mm -hmm. you know, Bowie's first show in the U.S. Uh, the other thing I like too is when I go back and I see some of the posters and I forget about the shows, but the lineups. I mean, mm, yeah, that's what really impressed me about a lot of these posters when I started looking at them is like, holy, this band played with this band, played with this band. And it wasn't like the World Series of Rock at, at, at right. Municipal Stadium where that was like a festival. This is like your average Tuesday night at Music Hall or at the Fantasy or at this venue. Mm -hmm. Now, you've done posters. Now, I mean, we've rattled off certain, a bunch of names, but I mean... You've done everybody from small acts that probably only had one or two albums out to literally the Beatles, the Stones, the Doors, Sinatra, the Who. I mean, like some of the biggest players in rock and roll history, and no one's ever going to top their record sales or their popularity. Led Zeppelin. Um, 
what, what, how many of these bands have you actually met and rubbed devils with and talked to and said, hey, here's my poster, or I created this poster for you, or hey, you're an <laughs> or whatever. Oh yeah, no, we know plenty of them. <laughs> uh, we, well, back in the day, I mean, we, would, we knew them more from working the security. Oh, true. Uh, than, hey, we did the poster for this show. Um, and that's it, I mean, but then when they get to see you multiple times, then you re then that's when you start building relationships. It's like, you know, I probably have seen Springsteen or worked his shows a dozen times. Uh, couldn't tell you too much about him. I mean, besides little interaction, but you know what? Clarence Clements was a great guy. Uh, uh, Stevie Van Zant, great guy. If you think about it, we are. We have like the little uh, uh, footnotes of music history that's come through Northeast Ohio. Oh and, yeah, you know, Ohio, you know, basically the whole area. And uh, yeah, I mean, the the thing of it is, is people don't remember bands like Delaney and Bonnie, and you know, until someone like Clapton says how important they are. Well, you know what? We did their work. Yeah. So that to me is always. You know, and it's an cool. archive because these venues didn't keep an archive record of who came and who did. Hey, let's summarize, man. Thank you very much. Oh, cheers. Let's cheers. Hey. Thanks. This was fun. This was fun. Yeah. You, it's kind of nice. This is like walking through the rock hall here. I know. This you is know? better than the rock hall. It is. You can quote me on that. Get, you can get great food. You can get